Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video we will be reviewing the Lenovo C340 Chromebook. If you like the video please like below and subscribe to the channel and we'll be reviewing this coming up. So the Lenovo C340 11 Chromebook is a budget entry Chromebook, nothing wrong with that, that's the reason why Chromebooks were originally successful when they were launched back in 2011. I opened this Chromebook a couple of weeks ago, it comes in a pretty basic box which I'm not too bothered about. Obviously if you spent lots and lots of money it's nice to have a nice box to open but because it's a budget Chromebook it's not that bad at all if I'm being honest with you. Now it's it's quite a nice Chromebook. What I do like about it from a build point of view is if you close it up, bearing in mind most budget Chromebooks are plastic. This is plastic underneath but it's nicely done. It's got nice curved edges on the side as well um, which is nice to see. It's got rubber legs there which it wants to keep it from sliding but it's the lid is actually aluminium and that actually does add to the look of the Chromebook it doesn't look as bad if, as if it's an all plastic design not too sure if I like the fact that it's not a slab like design which I prefer as you might be able to see it's square there but then it curves up there at the front now I understand it to an extent because it means you can grab it easier, which is, there's nothing wrong with that of course. Problem is, when you use it in tablet mode, it looks a bit odd, nothing crazy, but then you've got this bit of a groove here, and I find that quite strange. And something else I realised in tablet mode, it, there's no magnet, which is okay, don't get me wrong, but it would have been really nice if that stuck together. So compare that, for example, the reason why I'm saying this is I'm comparing it to the Asus C302 Chromebook. Now, fair enough, this wasn't a budget Chromebook, and I guess in a sense it still isn't, but if you can get one, you, get, you can get it at budget prices. But this, for example, is completely slab-like, and when you put it into tablet mode, it's that nice little click, and that means that it's not that easy to open and it looks like a tablet in tablet mode. Right, so don't get me wrong, this is not a comparison to the Asus C302, but it's something what, it's one of the reasons why I prefer a slab-like look Chromebook, not just because I think it looks cooler, I think it, it's definitely, and that's in laptop mode, it definitely looks cooler than that. However, don't get me wrong, it's still a good Chromebook, so don't let that put you off. So you've obviously seen now that it is a hybrid Chromebook, um, the touchscreen works fine. I'm quite happy with the touchscreen. It's not too bad. Um, the thing I did notice when I first opened it up, as I said, it's got a lovely aluminium top, which is really nice to see, is, and this is one of my worst things, it does have quite large bezels. The bezels are quite big. Um, the sides, the top are sort of the same, but the bottom one's a big old hefty bezel going on there. Um, and for me, it makes a, a Chromebook not look that cool, and it also makes it look a bit like it's something that is made for a six-year-old. So if you're buying it for a six-year-old, that's fine, but as an adult, you want something looking a bit more cool and sophisticated, I would say. However, I am being a bit harsh, and the reason why I say that is this is an 11.6-inch display, so you can't really, if you want this big keyboard, you can't have a big keyboard like that and an 11.6 inch display without having some bezels here. So I get it. And as far as the large bezel at the bottom, although it doesn't look nice, again, it would be more cramped here, so you'd have more space here for your trackpad. So I, I wouldn't you know, let that put you off. And bearing in mind, you are buying a budget Chromebook. Not many budget Chromebooks come with very thin bezels. Some do actually, but then they are let down really badly by the display. We'll get onto the display in a bit because I think the display is pretty decent. Now, in relation to the keyboard, it's absolutely fine. You can 
type on this keyboard. It's not the best keyboard in the world. I, you know, I'm not going to say that because it isn't, but it, it's perfectly fine to type with. I've typed on this without any problems whatsoever. Um, it's not, doesn't have as much feedback as say, for example, the Asus C302, but then the Asus C302 was known for having a great keyboard. So it's a bit of a harsh comparison. So although it's not fantastic, it's fine. The keyboard's not backlit. Yeah, maybe it would have been nice to have seen a backlit keyboard. I know some people want it. For me, I, I, I don't have much of an issue, although I do like them because I touch type, so I never look at the keys to type. Um, but in the evening time, certainly if you've got something in one hand, like if I'm eating or something, I can't touch type then, so you do have to look where you where the keys are, um, but it's fine. It's not too much of a problem. The trackpad is fine as well. It's responsive, it works okay. Yeah, it, it, there's, there's no real problems here. In relation to the processor, it's an Intel Celeron N4000, which is what you'd expect to see from a budget Chromebook. It works fine for surfing the internet. It works fine for word processing. It works fine on spreadsheets. Android apps work okay with it. Like, don't expect if you're playing an Android game that is quite advanced with graphics that it's going to run super smoothly on this. I'm sure it'll run okay, but the graphics may be downgraded a little bit. It's unlikely you get the best graphics quality because it is an Intel Celeron processor. That doesn't mean though that you can't use Android apps on it. You can. Just bear in mind you're not going to get super fast performance with this. The RAM's good, it's got 4GB of RAM, which is really nice to see. 4GB of RAM on a budget Chromebook, or even a mid-range Chromebook, is what you'd like to see as a start. But even though that's that's a minimum you'd want to see, it doesn't actually mean you need any more than that, if I'm being honest. If you certainly with a budget Chromebook, you don't, because an Intel Celeron processor isn't going to need any more than 4GB of RAM. So the RAM is absolutely fine with the processor from a performance point of view. It's got 64 gigabyte of storage, which is fine as well. No problems there, certainly for a Chromebook of this price. You can get this for about £249 in the UK. In the USA, I think it's about $269. So it's a really good deal. You, you can't go wrong. Storage isn't a problem. There is a micro SD slot if you need to add further storage down the line, which is all good. There's a headphone jack as well there. There's a USB port C there, type C port, so you can charge or hook up an external display. And there's older USB uh, port there, which is good if you've got older peripherals to add. And on the other side, there's another older USB. So there's two of them, which is really good. And there's also another USB type C. Um, and you've got the volume up and down there and the power button. So connectivity wise, this is absolutely fantastic. I've got nothing to complain about at all. You can um, hook up new um, products that use USB type C, or you can put in older products that use USB type A, which is absolutely fine, there's no problems. And it's the faster USB type older ports as well. The display, now this is what we need to talk about. The display is really, Good. It's an IPS panel, and if you've got an IPS panel, you're guaranteed to have really good viewing angles, which is exactly what you get on this Chromebook. And when you consider the price, that's really, really nice to see. One of my biggest issues with budget Chromebooks is that the displays let them down really badly. This doesn't, and this is why I recommend this Chromebook for anyone who's after a budget Chromebook with an 11.6 inch display, doesn't want to spend too much money you'll be happy with this Chromebook. There is, um, some people would say because it's not 1080p, then they wouldn't buy it. I get that if they're buying a Chromebook that costs 600 pounds, but you can't get a budget Chromebook with an 11.6 inch display that has 1080p, it's not possible. You can get a 14 inch budget Chromebook with a 1080p display, because they're cheaper to manufacture but it's not cheap. The smaller the laptop screen, and this is an 11.6, trying to get a 1080p display on here would really increase the price. So I don't think there's anything to be concerned about there, if I'm being honest with you. Do I like the fact it's not 1080? Personally, it, it's not for me. I, I, I couldn't cope with it because, again, for me, the, 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 the 720 um, image that's used, resolution, 
it again makes it look a bit like it's for a child because everything's so big. But then, you know, you might want that if you've got problems we've seen with normal laptops, maybe this is the right one for you. Um, it's not too bad. But in relation to the display, yes, you can't expect it to up to an ATP at this price range. So that isn't something that you should put against it. The IPS panel is great to see and it is much better than a lot of the budget Chromebooks out there when it comes to the display, so there's definitely no problem with that. It's got a webcam and that's all okay to use as well. One thing is the sound. The sound isn't amazing, if I'm being honest with you. It's not bad. Some, re some reviews I've read have said they're absolutely dreadful. They're not great, but I was watching some YouTube videos last night on this and I got quite into the YouTube uh, movie, it was, it was quite fun to watch and I didn't realise that it, the sound was that bad, so don't get it wrong, it's not great, playing music on here isn't going to sound fantastic at all, but just for general internet streaming and watching in, you know, YouTube movies, not too serious, you're not watching an actual movie, you're just watching a YouTube channel, I think the sound is fine, they're, they're, they're rear um, speakers there so yeah they're okay and again you, you, you get what you pay for you're buying a budget Chromebook so you can't expect the earth. One thing I would say is they could have done with putting some rubber feet on here because when you put it into that mode it, it's not that slippy if I'm being honest with you but I think it would have been nice if it had rubber feet but actually that is quite okay so maybe so I don't think that's what that was made for these do stick out slightly so maybe these have been designed to stop it slipping but just comparing that to this again sorry for comparing it to the C302 again but with this one there's like six feet so they are there to stop it from slipping because it's exactly the same here but these are much more rubbery and there's two there and two there so there's six in total just two on there. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going. So I, I think it's fine. It's it's fine. Just using it now, it, it's it's all right actually. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, I do like the fact you can use it. For me personally, I'm not a big fan of hybrids in the sense of using them as a tablet, but I do like using them like that. That's quite a nice way of using them. Certainly, if you've got it on your armchair on the on the arm it, it's really good for you know playing android games surfing the internet um, it's all fine you also get linux on the chromebook as well linux beta which is quite good to see i don't know how great linux will be on an intel sauron processor i think it all depends what you'd be looking to run if you was looking to run anything quite advanced i think you would struggle i don't think it would be that anyway let's put it that way so in summary then for this Chromebook the things I don't like we'll get away with first one I'm not massively into this little gap you've got here and it doesn't stick like that I don't like the massive bezels however I totally understand why you've got them and that's because you've got a full-size keyboard and an 11.6 inch display so nothing to moan at here um, the keyboard is perfectly fine. It's not backlit. Maybe that would be nice to see, but it, it's fine. It does the job. The trackpad's absolutely fine. The processor's great for internet streaming, watching movies. Um, it's great for spreadsheets, word processor. That's fine. Four gigabyte of RAM is absolutely more than enough. The 64 gigabyte of storage is more than enough for an entry level Chromebook. Yeah, the display is fantastic as far as the IPS display. Really happy with the IPS display. Don't get put off by the fact it doesn't have a 1080p display because like I says, you ain't gonna get one at this price range on 11.6 inch monitor. Okay, so that's it. That's the review of the Lenovo C340 Chromebook. I hope it helped. If it did, please like below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.